Good morning. How? <laughs> I literally can't catch a break. I went to go open my food bag and like the pork, it like spilled all over my food bag. I was like all over everything. It's just nasty. Ugh, gross. Like, ugh, it's so gross. You can't even see inside. This is the basement we slept in. Shoop. Mine and Seth's bed. He, well, said, he, said, he said, I'll give you the bottle, but okay. he said, it's glass and It freaking makes sense. Ridgeline yesterday then. Oh, we're not up to the top of the mountain yet. Oh no. Oh no. We got ways to go yet. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Absolutely. I usually walk on the top of the rocks and not today. <laughs> I was up there yesterday. <laughs> Insane. All right, so Mary Poppins just dropped me off at the at Blue Mountain um, Drive. Uh, I am toying with a lot of options today, and I wanted to get, so I have about 30, maybe 35 miles into Delaware Water Gap, which I'm trying to get to tomorrow. So I gotta figure out how to split it up. Um, I wanted to get as many miles as I can done today. Feeling good, feeling refreshed right after a shower. Everything's washed. Uh, all the coffee stains are gone, thankfully. Um, so we are going... Um, so I was talking to Mary Poppins on the way about it, and she suggested that I slack pack. So that was definitely an option yesterday, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Um, however, wind gap is 15 miles. I think I can definitely do 15 miles. Um, and then... The next gap where she could potentially slack back me to is 24 miles. So um, she was saying there's only like two campsites and a shelter in between all of the 24 miles, um, including like stealth sites. So that made me a little bit nervous. So what we're gonna do is when I get to Wind Gap, I'm going to see if I have enough time to make it to Route 191. If I do, I'll keep going and I'll text her and she'll drop my stuff off to me. Um, if I don't, then I will stop at Wind Gap um, unfortunately she can't bring my stuff until about 5 p.m. which is fine because if I'm staying there um, that should be fine and there is a tavern at Wind Gap where you can camp in the back of their um, their restaurant so we are gonna see how today goes I think it should be good especially since I'm slack packing and don't have the weight on me I should be able to do those 24 miles and be super close to Delaware Water Gap um, where I would only have to do like five miles into town tomorrow so Wish me luck, I'm gonna need it. Um, seems to be a pretty easy-ish trail. The only climb will be out of Wind Gap. So, this will be fun. It did rain last night pretty hard, so I passed by someone recently that just said, take your time going up. It is very slippery up here. So I'm interested to see what it means, and I actually just saw it. There's a crab down of rocks. Holy crab. Yeah. Let's do it. Um, the only problem I'm going to run into today is water. Apparently there is uh, a water cache from Mary Poppins in seven miles woo, at Smith Gap. So I've got this one filled up and my leader filled up. So it should be good for the seven miles, fill up at Smith Gap. And then I think there's only one more water source in between Smith Gap and the shelter. Um, so I'll have to carry a lot because I think that would be about 17 miles. So there'd be one spring right in the middle. And so I got to figure out how much water I'm going to be carrying at any given time, which is good if I'm slack packing it because then I feel like it won't be too bad um, carrying all that water. But that's my only, if that's my only challenge today, I think I might be okay because it's mostly ridge line walking. You want me to do what? Okay. Whew. Can I help you, sir? Oh, you're good. Oh, 
Just kidding. No. Are those your morning stretches? Oh, there's a bug on you. That's what's happening. Help him. There's a bug bug in you. Oh no. And here comes the rain. Yikes. I almost stepped on him and I scared him and he started to run. Sorry, sir. He's so cute. Go, little guy. Go, go, go. What a treat. Here's a second, gentlemen. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You'll never believe. Ah! Look at the little baby. Hi, Bubba's. Run, 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 run. Oh my gosh. Hi, Bubba's. Hope I'm not scaring you. He is so freaking cute and tiny. Look at him go. That's so cute, baby. Hi, bud. Those three were in a span of like three minutes. Just so everyone knows. Wow. Those were so cute. Okay, so it was on high alert for snakes because they're a little bit harder to see when the ground is wet. Um, but now I'm on high alert for newts. What? I forget that when it rains, they come out. Bud. What? I think it was just rain from the trees. Or water from the trees. That was weird. Oh my gosh, hello. I feel like I'm walking on newts. Whoa, I'm walking on newts. Whoa, I'm walking on newts. Whoa, and it don't feel so good. Hey, all right now, it don't feel very good. It does not feel very good. And I'm scared out of my mind. Yeah. Bruh, there's so many. There goes the little baby running. That's him scared. All right, I'm gonna have to start keeping count. Seriously. This one's really cool. Also, just wanted to say physically, I'm doing great today. No knee pain, no ankle pain, no back pain, which is good. I actually don't even have a knee brace on today. Uh, just the ankle KT tape. So I think we're good, but let's see how I'm feeling at the end of the day. Look what I found. These are Gray Man's glasses. Uh, yay for technology again. Sass is with Gray Man. They texted me. I've secured them. And then also I have made it to whoo, Smith Gap Water Cash. Thank you, Mary Poppins. So I will fill up here. Sass said that the shelter that she's at right now, uh, I think in six miles, maybe a little bit more, it's like a 15, 10, 15 minute walk down from the shelter. I don't want to do that. So we're going to fill up here. Okay, so that croaking noise, also, sorry about the pimple patch, it was my stomach. It sounded like a frog. So we have to feed it before continuing. Although it is 12, I probably should feed it lunch. But I've got about three more miles to the shelter and then I can sit down. I'm also secretly wondering if Rayman's waiting for me there. Because I think that's when he ran into Sass, so. Operation Return Glasses. 
is in full effect. In other news, I've done 7.5 miles in three hours. I think this is the smallest one I've seen. Hi, bud. This is all the way zoomed in on my phone. Oh, little baby. You good, bro? Mountain lion, baby, maybe? I do not know what you are. What do I do? Or cat. Actually, I think it's a cat. I'm not really sure. Bye! Whoa, you are huge! Wow! Alright, so it looks like this is where the shelter is. I'm going to Kirkridge Shelter tonight. So I've got 13.8 still and it's 1 o'clock. Doable, I think. And then Delaware Water Gap is 20.2, which I will be going to tomorrow. Until then, let's go. He finally stopped moving. Hi, bud, you're beautiful. She finally opened her wings. There she is. Beautiful. Started to rain when I got here. Had a little bit of lunch. Gray Man is not here, so I'm assuming he's gonna be at the shelter tonight. Let's go. Okay, so thank you, Sass, for telling me about the water at the shelter. I'm still full on water from Smith Gap, which is perfect because it's showing me on my map. Unless there's a water cache, it's 11 miles to the next water source. 20 minutes later, no jacket and no rain and sunshine. What is the Appalachian Mountains? Appalachian, Ma Appalachian? What, what is this place? Oh, it's a baby. A sweepy baby. Hi. What you doing? Cool. Okay, I am almost at Wind Gap. I'm on my seventh hour. I believe I started at 8.30. So it's about 3.30 right now. Um, I'm averaging 2.2 miles per hour. Um, so I think I might do it. I, th I feel like, because I'm at 15 point something right now. Um, and I only have, what, like nine left? So that's, what, eight hours? No, sorry. It's about four hours. Um, so that would put me at like 7.30. I think it's still going to be daylight at that time. I don't think it gets dark till 8.30, so I think it might be good. But I also have no idea what the climb out of wind gap is going to look like, so I'm kind of afraid of that, but even if I take that a little slow, I can maybe pick up the pace the rest of the time. I don't know. It's kind of close, but I don't know. I'm just going to keep going. So this is level, and that's where we're going. So it's a little bit of a decline. Wow, beautiful.
found a birdie. Okay, I lost the birdie. Hello, there he is. Bye bud. Pretty. Okay, the climb out of wind gap, not so bad. However, I am on tippy toes the whole way up. And I'm surprised my calves don't hurt. But I guess hiker legs, you know? But I should be getting to the top shortly. And it wasn't too bad. I am dripping in sweat though. Whew. It's 77 degrees outside. And it's hot. Very humid. Just got to the top of Wind Gap. Um, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. It didn't take as long as I thought it was gonna be. So I'm able to keep my average up. Um, I just texted Mary Poppins and said that I will get there no later than 7.30, which gives me exactly four hours to do 8.3 or 8.4 miles, which isn't that bad. It gives me a little bit of a leeway, keeps me out. And then uh, during the light, um, she's gonna let me know if she needs more time because she is running an errand that is three hours away. So I gave her a four hour notice and yeah, so hopefully she's there when I'm there and hopefully I don't have to walk in the dark at all. I'm gonna be so scared if I have to, but the shelter is only 0.6 from the gap she's dropping my stuff off at. So it might be a close call. I've decided that this is one of my favorite views in the forest, is walking through these ferns. Absolutely stunning. Oh, hello. He also likes doing it. Sir, are you hiking that Blazing Trail? Do you wanna be my tramley? Do you wanna be my tramley? I'm really cool, I promise. Hey, wait, come back. No! Supposed to be going fast through these flat parts. It's a breeze of sun, but it is just so beautiful. Wow. I am in awe of this forest every single day. It's just breathtaking. Just met a guy named Wonder Bro. Um, he started in Warwick, which is about. 90 to 100 miles um, ahead of me and he is going southbound um, really cool got to chat with him for like 15 20 minutes and it's crazy to me like how much of a connection you make with someone and then you walk off in separate directions I'm going north he's going south and I will never see him again um, but it was nice to be able to talk to him and just kind of enjoy the woods together and the Appalachian Trail. Um, so if you ever see this wonder bro, it's nice meeting you and I hope that you make it to Springer and then once you flip around and go back up to Katahdin, I hope you do it in your four month time goal. Good luck to you. It's doable, just hard. So I told Mary Poppins about an hour ago that I would get there at 7.30. 
It is now 5.45 and I still have 4.5 miles left. Um, two hours ago I only did 1.6, the last hour I did 2.4, so I kind of made up for it a little bit, the two miles per hour, however, uh, she texted me back 20 minutes ago and said, my GPS told me I'm not going to get there till 8.15, so that means I'll be hiking in the dark. So I'm a little bit afraid of that, but I think that, that gives me 15 minutes for the sun's like completely down before it's completely black. And I'm gonna try and find a stealth site as quick as I can. But that being said, that gives me 30 extra minutes for like a little bit of leeway. So I'm taking a five, 10 minute break, getting some food in me, um, and then I'm gonna keep going. Uh, I'm slightly terrified, but there's not much I can do. I can have her take me back to her hostel, but I really want to get up tomorrow morning. Like my reward for doing this many miles today is to get up tomorrow morning super early. I'm thinking like 4.35, pack up and get into uh, Delaware Water Gap early, like nine. Um, so that way I can sit in the coffee shop and kind of just enjoy a coffee, maybe edit some videos and just enjoy myself before I meet back up with sass and soap for the day. Okay, well that's different. Hmm. Let's do it. Wolf rocks. And here they are. Let's go. Ooh. I just came down from up there. That was very scary and sketchy. Apparently Sass fell twice and Soap did it in the rain and I don't know how he did that. I also fell once and hit my elbow pretty hard, but it's feeling okay now, so I think I'm in the clear. <sighs> Very dangerous. We did it. Heck yeah. I think it's like 7.50, so we're waiting about 25 minutes for Mary, but that is okay, because she helps me out so much today. Welcome to the Appalachian Trail. Okay, well, got my stuff, and now it's a race to the shelter before it gets too dark. It's not funny, bird. It's kind of a little bit funny. I don't think she really cares that, oh. Well, the other guy does, though. So. Oh, there's two of them. Hello! Will you guys be my friend? Okay. I guess not. Everyone's out here making friends except for me. Can't even make friends with the animals in the forest. Bye. Your friend ditched you. He yeeted himself down the mountain. In case you're wondering, kind of far away from him, but we'll see if he jumps in front. Hope he does. I'm getting pretty close to him. There he goes. Why are you looking at me? I'm point one away from the shelter, and I honestly have to say, I cannot believe that I did this today. I'm so proud of myself and that I made it. Um, and now I think I only have six miles into town tomorrow. Ooh, and it's not that dark outside, so we're good.